Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the design procedure of one-way slab. So first we have to know what is meant by one-way slab and two-way slab. So the difference between one-way slab and uh, two-way slab is uh, uh, the long two sort of span not exceeding two. So that is referred as a two-way slab. Then uh, long two sort of span exceeding two that is called one-way slab. Okay. Mm. So another one is uh, whenever the slab is there. So the load will be distributed to the beam. So this is a slab, and here is the beam. So whenever the load is uh, distributed in one side, so this side and also this side. So uh, only one direction that is called one-way slab. So if case the load is distributed in the all direction, that is called two-way slab. Okay. So now, so now the most of cases, so we are uh, providing the overall thickness of the slab 100 to 200 mm. So uh, another one is uh, we have to design for the maximum moment. So after that we can uh, check for the shear. One way slab, the reinforced concrete slab supported in two opposite side or four sides of the slab. So the ratio of longer to shorter span is exceeding two. So that is called one way slab. Okay. So now the percentage of reinforcement is uh, 0.3 to 0.5 percentage. So then the permissible shear stress is increased by the use of shear enhancement factor. So that is K. So due to practical consideration, the depth of uh, slab is selected is generally greater. Than the minimum depth. Okay. Also, we are uh, designed for the flexure and second the shear stress uh, for the limiting state of collapse. So then, design procedure. So first step is uh, depth of slab. So we have to uh, find out the depth of slab. So first, uh, we have to assume the cover is 20 mm. Okay. So we we know the two depths. So there is the D overall depth and the effective depth. So effective depth is uh, capital D minus cover thickness. So that is 20 mm. So generally we are assuming for slab is 20 mm, then beam for 30 mm, then column for 40 mm and foundation for 50 mm. Okay, so these are all the assumed uh, cover thickness. So then now the effective depth of slab is uh, overall depth minus cover thickness. Okay, so after that second step, so the effective span we have to find out. So the effective span is the list of uh, following. So that is uh, one is clear span plus effective depth or center to center of the supports. So after the determination of load, so there are uh, two types of loads are there. So one is self-weight and another one is live load. So that is the uh, dead load or live load. So first one is uh, self-weight of the slab. So we have to find out the unit weight into dimensions because uh, uh, unit weight is uh, gamma into dimension is uh, in area okay so next one is service load that is live load so we can assume that or we can take from is875 so after that we can find out the ultimate load that is 1.5 that is factor of safety into the total load of uh, service load and uh, sulfate okay so then step 4 is ultimate moment of uh, moment and shear force so the ultimate moment so we this so ultimate moment so these are all uh, considered as simply supported beam so that is uh, mu equal to wl square by 8 and shear force is uh, vu equal to wl by 2 okay so after that we can find out the moment of resistance because we have to find out the uh, over reinforced or under reinforced section so the limiting moment of resistance is the formula mu limit equal to 0 0.138 fcg bd square so from that uh, for fe415 we can use this formula so whenever the mu limit is uh, less than of mu limit so the section is under reinforced Okay, so if case MU limit is greater than of MU limit, so that is section is over reinforced and then MU equal to MU limit that is called balanced section. Okay, so for after that we can find out the uh, whether the reinforcement section is uh, over reinforced or under reinforced or balanced section. So finally we can find out the reinforcement that is area of reinforcement. So we can use the formula M equal to 0 0.87 FYAST into D into 1 minus FYAST divided by FCK BD square. Okay, so now uh, the MU is uh, moment. So FI is character strength of uh, steel, then AST is area of reinforcement, D is effective depth and then FI is same, then AST is uh, area of reinforcement, then FCK is characteristic compressive strength of concrete after 28 days, then B is uh, width and D is uh, depth. Okay, so after that we can uh, 
provide the distribution reinforcement. So the AST 0.12 percentage of cross section area. So we can substitute all the values and uh, we got the design. Okay. So this is a design procedure for one-way slab. So again, we will see next video. Thank you.